Well, now it's time to figure out how much tubing I need in order to make the frame. And first part of the frame is going to be this, this bottom rail where the engine mounts to. So I've got to figure out where in the bike frame this needs to be. This frame is going to change quite a bit and the wheelbase may even change. So let's take a look at how much I need and let's start cutting stuff out. So this is going to run a jack shaft. Um, a lot of times I like to set things up to visualize how they're actually going to look once I'm done. So jack shaft needs enough space to be mounted onto the frame and have enough distance so the chain is not too small. Um, I worry about how tight these radiuses, the radii are, radius, radii, are on the chain as it comes back around. But I think the jack shaft needs to clear the valve cover because the frame has to go in here and this frame is about two inches so it has to be at least two inches from this valve cover to say about here. I would go three inches just to be safe and if that's the case well I would go three inches then when this is made it's gonna have an extra inch because it's gonna be bound on the back side of that that's another inch so I could probably bring this in two inches drop down a line from that and then I still need space for the frame to mount up and depending how I build it it would either be a little bit wider or a little bit shorter so if I go long then add the width for the frame coming up that would be that would set this further back if I come closer here so basically the length of the engine is a rough approximation 15 inches 15 inches give myself another inch so I think this bar needs to be 16 inches long to give me enough space and I'll double check that okay <clears throat> I'm trying to hone in on how long this lower bar is going to be with the mounting plate and I don't want too much sticking out the front so I want it to be here but I need to have the ability to adjust the motor back and forth so I would probably mount the plate about here so I'll go ahead and mark that so mount plate there then I need to know with this see what I'm saying so the, the bar is gonna the uh, riser from this is gonna come up so I need to leave enough space that it, it can clear this so I need to bring this back some here it's gonna also have an, an angle like that to kind of match this so I need to come back about here maybe and then it's gonna rise up like that so I can kind of see how much angle do I need so actually I need to be back here somewhere to give it enough so that I can angle like that you see what I'm saying so I'll mark here is where I'm going to cut it I'm gonna get some other bar I'm gonna get a ruler and see how it looks okay now that I have this cut out at the angle that I want you can see how this is gonna to fit together so it's gonna fit like that of course I'll cut this so that it's nice and flush the bottom but this gives you an idea of the angle and you can see where if this is too close there's no space for the engine to fit in there and something like that with the plate mounted up will give me some room to probably I probably want the plate about here probably about here so I can go back and forth the engine a little bit I don't want it to go too far back this way so I probably need to be for the holes to be so the holes are about right here
so I need it to be about there. So that's going to move the plate up a little bit to mount here, here, to here is the plate. That's where the plate's going to mount. Cool. You got it. All right. So let's go ahead and get the plate tacked up and we'll get this bar cut and welded and we may start the horizontal bar um, I'm not sure yet so let's take a look that may be the next video now we got the now that we have the, the base plate tacked up we can kind of get a better idea of how this is going to fit And you can see how tight the space is now between these things, but it looks pretty cool. So that's what I was aiming for. Um, but Now we got this mounted up. Space might be too tight here. So let's slide this engine back a little bit. I might need to move the plate. I'm gonna need to move the plate probably further up, maybe about another inch. So I'm gonna cut it off, cut the tacks, and move it again. Now that I have my plate tacked up to the lower bar, we can see, you know, I went ahead and moved it so it's got more space. So if I slid the engine to the furthest point back on the plate, we still have about, about a half inch in here, maybe a little bit less. So that's a pretty good fit. Okay. Now that I have these kind of sized, this lower bar and the plate, now I gotta get this riser done. And I'm gonna cut it about right there. So I'm gonna get this tacked up to the lower bar, this riser to the lower bar, and then start working on the crossbar that's gonna come up on an angle, kind of like that. Okay, so let me go and get this tacked up. Now I've got the riser. Now I've got the riser cut out to length, the mounting bar, and now the top crossbar, it's kind of roughed out. That length I haven't determined yet, so I'll figure out how long that needs to be um, pretty soon. But I'm gonna go ahead and, like I said, tack this up so we'll have this as one piece, make it easier for us to figure out that little doodad. So now what I'm doing is superimposing the bike over the frame, and if you can see down there, I have the frame kind of mocked up of how it's going to be positioned, and that gives me an idea where the motor's going to fall in relation to the headset and the rear tire. Try to make sure I have enough rear tire room, and currently I don't, but when I make the rear suspension, that's going to push the tire back some. Here I have just enough space to clear the frame, so you got to imagine that the engine and frame is going to be centered in this tire area and this is giving an idea this is kind of like the ability to superpose something in real time to see where it's going to fit and i know now that that angle that i had is not going to totally work so i like the angle but i'm gonna to have to do something to get this crossbar back down to the head unit so now that we have the frame mocked up tacked up i should say we got the crossbar, we got the riser, we have the mounting plate and the mounting bar. And the next thing is to start working on the rear suspension. But before then, I gotta get this 
frame mounted up to the headset. I'm gonna lop this off, I think. Probably use some of this metal for some other parts if I need it, but um, this will be the main frame holding the engine and the bike together. And you can see how nice and centered that motor is within the frame. So, on to the next part. On to the next part of the uh, project. So like, subscribe, and share. Click the bell icon. Thank you.